Absolutely not. In fact, we will be engaged in deep conversations with Jamaica about this journey to a republic and why it is important to move the king as head of state and to go beyond that in creating a republic. We still have the institutions of slavery and colonization with us today in 2023, and we need to do much more. And so removing the king symbolically ends that phase in our journey. And the work ahead is to deepen the idea of self-determination in the hands of the Jamaican people, shaping our future in a very active way. Our flag is still there, you know, not to quote the line from the American um, anthem, but, you know, the fact that we still keep up you know, those vestiges of our very, very horrific past as Africans who were trafficked um, and, and, and deserted here and brought into slavery. Show the people that when we talk about constitutional reform, we're not just talking about words on a paper or titles at a king's house or a president's palace, you know. We need to talk about empowering the people of Jamaica. Um, and the fact is, Jamaicans are very much invested in who leads their country.